Hi everyone, this is Adam from Cube3 bringing you another unboxing video. So we just, in one of the previous videos, showed you this, which was the Monster Hunter Rise Special Edition controller. I'm sure you can hear a dog barking in the background there. Very good background noise, I'm sure you will agree. You can just see here, we have the Ugreen Bluetooth adapter. I have my very nice Nintendo Switch to one side. And what I'm going to show you today is something by a company called a company called Binbok Born to Game. Now this is look at this. This is the Binbok gamepad. Is that showing up very clearly? Maybe it's going a bit blurry. So we have wired pairing installed gamepad slides into console wait a few seconds for the pairing to complete oh wow all the dogs are going crazy now barking in the background it's like the dogs are talking to each other my goodness they're all interested in the bin bok born to game controller so basically this was i was having trouble with my joy con controller on my switch i was suffering from some terrible drift and whilst waiting for my rather than sending them off and waiting for ages for my controllers to come back I thought I would try and get some replacements so that I can carry on gaming whilst waiting for the others to be fixed and I had this very very special surprise from Binbok let's take this out and I'll leave this box what you can see in the background there is my family of anchor goodies that I'll be showing you in another video we have the Anchor Life A2 noise cancelling true wireless earbuds here, the Life A2. We have the Specialist Power Conf C300 webcam, their first ever smart full HD webcam. You have the Life Q20 headphones, Life Q30 wireless nose noise cancelling, and this nearly said wireless nose cancelling. That would be a bit disturbing. If you put them on and your nose disappeared, or even your sense of smell went, hmm. Anyway, rambling. There's the Life Q30 wireless noise cancelling headphones and the brand new latest range Life Q35 hybrid anti noise cancelling. Is that? No, active noise cancelling, sorry. Headphones. And I'll show you all those later, but my focus for now is this Binbok set of Joy-Con. Take this off. Nice protective case on there. Let me bring this bin box, box into the picture so you can see who I'm talking about, what I'm talking about. Let's put this as the primary focus. There we go, bin box. So there we have this very nice welcome guide wireless controller. Now this is quite an in-depth set of instructions. And these are not useless instructions either, I can tell you that right now, because after having a look through, these are very, very impressive Joy-Con indeed. Look at this, so this looks like a, a meaty Pro Controller, which it can be. If you keep it connected like this, then you can indeed use it as a Pro Controller. So let me just move this box out of the way. So what we have here, this isn't like the Joy-Con central part where you can actually charge the controllers because there's no USB-C port there and there's no USB-C port there. This is literally just a chunk of plastic that will light up to tell you whether you're player one or player two um, but it's just a chunk of plastic that holds the Joy-Con together. The actual charge ports are on the bottom of the Joy-Con themselves so you can actually charge up each Joy-Con individually, which is quite a, f a funky feature. So you have your capture button, you have your home button, your plus and your minus as usual, your Joy-Con sticks. They feel a little bit different. I don't know if you can see very clearly, but this is actually more ridged than Nintendo's official Joy-Con, which are a very smooth finish. The D-pad as well, I think for copyright purposes, is slightly different. In fact, 
if you just just let me reach across and get my special Nintendo Pro Controller, the Monster Hunter Rise version. So here we go. So actually you can see in terms of size, it's not too dissimilar when it's put together. It looks different just because obviously this is a large chunk of plastic. The form factor is slightly different, but at the end of the day, this is a very cool piece of kit. Put that over there. Um, what I shall also do is, let me just show you. So you've seen the USB-C ports there. You have your, your R, your ZR, your L, your ZL, or for Americans, your ZR and your ZL. <laughs> do you like that terrible American pronunciation? Oh dear. When I hear Americans try and do British pronunciations, um, it can always sound a bit cheesy. But when I do my American accent and I say my ZR and my ZL, it can just be quite offensive, actually, I suppose. Uh, so apologies for my poor impersonation. So what we have here is we have a 3R and a 3L. These are extra buttons. You have a turbo button and you have a mode button. Now, this is because these light up. So you can have turbo buttons to use on fighters where you want to press something really quickly. You also have mode buttons that can change the lighting on these. So what you also notice is it has the usual little buttons to press here so that you can slide out your Joy-Con. So if I do that, there we go, out that comes very easily. And again with this, so I press this and then boop, out it comes. So this, like I say, is a little piece of plastic. It doesn't actually have power capabilities, although these lights do come on when your switch is connected. So if I put this to one side and give you a bit of a clearer view of these Joy-Con. So here we go, so there's your left Joy-Con, and there's your right Joy-Con. So you can see these are quite chunky, they've got a nice bulge on the back, that's what we like, a nice bulge, get your hands on, <laughs> for now, for now. Um, <laughs> if you want to be playing with your Joy-Con alone like that, you've got your SR and SL, you have your connectivity button there for the Bluetooth if you want to reconnect to your switch if it loses connection. And the same with the right Joy-Con. I don't think they're allowed to call them Joy-Con for, again, copyright purposes. In fact, I think you have to buy this product directly from the Binbok website. So if you have a look on here can you see there binbok.com so that would be the best thing to do go to binbok.com and have a shufties around there so here we go very nice now let's see can I power this on or have I Oh, there we go. Can you see the light that's come on there? I don't know if that's very clear to see. But there is a light shining. Oh, there we go. There's my player one light that's come on. And how about if I press this as well? this one's gone off as well it's because my switch isn't switched on now there we go so my switch is now connected so that means if I press this hopefully that 
should connect. No, this one's not connecting. I would have thought... Just like this one's come on very easily, that this one should do as well. Interesting. No, my left Joy-Con's not coming on straight away. Oh, here we go. Oh, there we go. I've got it. I don't know what I pressed to get it on, but now the light's on. Maybe I pressed the minus button. So you can, I don't, can you see, can you see these colours around there? Now I want to show you how to change these, because apparently if I, I think it was hold the turbo button, and then press down on the stick twice, does that, that I think has actually turned the light off. And then turn the light on. So it's pressed the T button and pressed down on the stick twice. And then if I press the T button and press once, it changes. So that's a nice purpley colour now. Press again. We have this greeny, yellowy, bluey colour. we got this sort of reddy colour, orangey colour, or pinky. Now this is more of an orange colour actually. And there's a bit of a greeny colour. And there's a darker green colour. And then we have this nice blue. And a darker blue, more of a purple. And there we go into an actual purple. And then we have the rainbow again. And then if I, see there we go, right. So I press the turbo and press down on the stick twice and it's actually now breathing. So can you see the colors coming on and going off? Is that clear for you to see? There you go, see there's the greeny, greeny yellow coming on. Going off again. And there's the green colour coming on, and then slowly going off again. I think this is a really funky feature. I really like this. And can I do the same on the other stick? So on the other stick, uh, on the other controller, sorry, press T on the back, and double click on there, and it's gone off. Double click again, and then the colours come on. There's a bit of a red colour going to fade out. So here we're on the breathing mode. There's solid colour if you press down once. So pressing T on the back and pressing on the stick once will change the colour slightly. There's green, and there's the blue, and then the darker blue, and then the purpley, and then the rainbowy, and double click goes into breathing mode again. This is really good. So I know I had a bit of a fiddly moment trying to get this turned on, but um, as you can now see, they paired with my Switch very easily. Now, if they don't pair with your Switch straight away, what you can do is, oh, let me just, by the way, I'll remove my Switch Joy-Con, and then you can just have a bit of a comparison of the two. So here we go, look, so there's my right Joy-Con and the Binbok right controller you can see what a chunky chunky monkey this is oh yes look even the buttons nice and thick so for people with big hands like myself that's really good and there's the left one and we have see so rather than the arrows you actually have a d-pad so you have everything that you would expect Got your stick. If you look, the actual stick, the joystick, stands out more on the Binbok version than the Switch version. All your buttons inside are the same. Okay. 
and then just looking at that stick actually let me just bring this across here's that monster hunter one again so there's the pro controller so i'm just trying to see is there a big distinction between the sticks in terms of they look kind of the same in terms of circumference but can can you see the difference if I put this up close and I put, can you see this stick up close? I don't know if you can see the difference. Yeah, so the Pro Controller stick, can you see that's actually smooth around the actual stick? And on this bin box one, it's got a bit of a ridge around the stick. Doesn't make a big difference. It it's just um, means you actually have a better grip on this bin box version. That's quite cool. Now, what it mentions, oh, let me show you actually. Let me connect this. So, connect, and then just to prove that it works very nicely, with your switch, boop, and our oh, look, and there we go. We're back into Metopia again. Off the go. Do, 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 do. Now, how does this work with the stand? So, if I take the stand out, so we have the stand, a little plastic stand, if it'll come out. There we go. Ah, now that's interesting. So, if you notice here, because of the thickness of it, can you see? The stand doesn't actually touch. So the Joy-Con replacements by Binbog render this stand render this stand a bit useless. However, these are quite thick and they actually have a flat surface. So what I've just noticed is I can actually stand it on its own. Oh my goodness, this is brilliant. I didn't even realize this is a very different feature. So, say for instance, I wanted to just play like this and use the other Joy-Con or use a Pro Controller. I can actually just use these rather than actually using them as the controllers. I can use them as a stand. Oh, that's fantastic. Look at this. It just stands without falling over. Oh, there's an additional feature I didn't realize. So because of this little flat indentation here, and on this side, it's a stand. Oh, wow, well done, Binbok. I'm impressed with that. Should we have a bit of a battle? Come on, let's do this with my frying pan. Come on, whack him, boom. Yeah, whack him, not whack him, the name. <laughs> Danny wants to show off. She's meant to be a pop singer. You know, like Danny Minogue. I just noticed that I spent it, spelt it with one N, not two M's. But anyway, there we go. Happy stuff. Team Danny wins. Bravo. And this is great. So as you can see, as I'm playing around the stick, the colours change in. So you can imagine playing this at night time. If you've got this, and then I don't know if you recall, we had the, um, the Soundcore Flare Plus speaker. So I've had my Soundcore Flare Plus speaker plugged in. I have this flashing, and then I have the Soundcore Flare Plus flashing, which is from Anchor. That would be very cool indeed, I have all my neon lights. All I would need to do then is go upstairs and use my trust keyboard and my trust mouse that also have the neon flashing colors. Everything's neon. So yeah, what you have there is the fantastic Binbok, born to game, replacement Joy-Cons. Now they're not officially called Joy-Cons like I say. It's just it's called a gamepad. Install the gamepad slides into the console. Wait a few seconds for pairing to complete. So yep for so for legal purposes these are not Joy-Con. They are gamepad replacements and they can be slotted onto this and then you can play your switch with its stand so I will just pause that a second and take these off so I'll put this over here oh it buzzed at me and 
that one over there, and that buzzed at me. And then if I get my switch ready, let me just plug these, slide these in. So as you can see here, whoop, there we go. That's one. Hannah, Dull, there we go. And you can just stand the controller. And then there's my switch on there. LNR. Yeah ready and away we go again so there's there's my switch here's my huge beast of a bin box which you know if you want to leave standing there now i know you can just stand it up how cool is that let's go next Boop. oh yes very happy what have they got there a butterfly honey and 10 gold pieces how delightful off they go do, 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 do. I'm on top of the world. Just stop. I agree. You know what? My little Adam character on Metopia is just as cheesy as me in real life. Look, that cloud looks like a slime jelly. Looks more to me like a juicy goblin ham. Sound hungry, don't they? Ah. Mmm. Ridiculously hungry. <laughs> they are hungry. <laughs> I thought so. So anyway, so there we go. So that's the Binbok controller. Very good. It has many other features as well. So let me just move this out of the way. Turn this off so that you can see. And what I'm going to do is just very briefly, I'll leave this in the background there so you can have a look at that and Binbok there as well. So what do we have on the welcome guide? So let's have a look. You've got your instructions and LED indications, just to give you an idea. Bluetooth reconnecting. Uh, what do we have here? We have a kid crying in the background. Turbo functions. So there we go, turbo functions. The T on the left controller can only assign the buttons that are on the left controller same goes for the T on the right controller. So you have turbo functions if you want to go back into the days of mutton, mutton? Button mashing. I was going to say mutton bashing. Now that would be getting the animal activists up in arms, wouldn't it? Mutton bashing. Oh dear. Button mashing. So there we go. Unfortunately, a bit of a spelling mistake there, but that is meant to be button assigned functions so that you can play around with that. The M button on the left controller can only assign buttons that are on the left controller same goes for the button on the right controller so the m will allow you to assign different buttons led settings i just showed you some of the color changes that can be done you can actually as well and i've not tried this feature yet but if you look at here you can adjust your vibration level now i know very well in certain games the vibration is too much and you can only turn it on or off so the idea of being able to adjust that is fantastic color mode so you have i don't know if you can read on here if this will focus nicely so you like i say there's a color mode so you can change between the different colors which is what i showed you and it also has a breathing mode which i showed you as well holding the t on the controller and pressing the joystick twice so you can have it auto cycling you can have rainbow light breathe mode and you can turn off the light so that's really cool what else do we have gyro calibration if you're thinking that your gyroscope isn't working very well same with calibrating the controller's joystick um, you can even upgrade your controllers so you upgrade your controllers can we see this? Let's have a quick look at this. So, you can connect your controllers to your computer to upgrade the software of our products in order to support the latest upgrade of Nintendo Switch. So if you get a new firmware on your Switch and you find that the controllers aren't working particularly well, you can connect them to the computer, run the upgrade software via the Binbok website, B-I-N-B-O-K.com and that will sort you out right there there's a reset button function 
and a low voltage alarm, whatever that is. If the lithium, if the lithium battery voltage is lower than da, 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 the current channel type flashes, uh, the current channel light flashes quickly to indicate low voltage. Okay, that's interesting. There are a few typos on this, um, but it's okay. It's very easy to understand. Charging instructions, and look, there's even more stuff. So there we go. We've seen turbo. Uh, you know, seriously, I'm so so impressed. I, I just expected uh, Binbok to be providing an alternative to the Joy-Con, just thicker and fatter. But it's got all these colours. It's got the turbo mode. The fact that it can be used as a stand with my Switch connected to it is fantastic. I'm just so thoroughly impressed. Born to game. Check them out. Binbok.com. B-I-N-B-O-K.com. How great is that? They also have charge stands as well. They have all sorts of different products, so it'd be worth going to check out their website. So yeah, I believe Binbok also has a Bluetooth adapter like this, but I think it goes into the USB-C port, so you won't be able to use your Switch, the USB adapter for the Bluetooth, and your Switch dock together at the same time. That's the handy thing of this Ugreen device, because it goes into the headphone port on the top, which means that you can charge it, means it can't go into the switch dock unfortunately the only one that goes into the switch dock is anchor's version of their bluetooth transmitter but i don't think they do that anymore so unfortunately they don't so anyway there we go binbok born to game i hope you enjoyed this video it went on a little bit longer than expected but i just wanted to show you some of the cool features that it has um if you like the video give it a thumbs up if you don't like it give it a thumbs down please share a comment of any sort really love to hear your feedback if you've got any questions about it again just let me know and i'll try and get back to you as quickly as i can in the comments other than that bin bok go and check them out right take care for now i'll be back with more videos very soon bye